Good morning everyone, this is the new Volkswagen ID4 GTX and today I'm going to do a range test with it on the highway at 130 km an hour. There's a fly attacking the camera. Yeah, uh, just a few weeks ago I tested the ID4 Pro with the new 210 kilowatt APP 550 motor in the rear and this car has the same motor in the rear but also a motor in the front to give it all-wheel drive and we get to 250 kilowatt full power that the car can have. I'm going to charge to 100% and we do the range test. I put in here the number that the Pro version achieved at the 130 kilometers an hour range test. I think it was 340 kilometers but I don't remember the temperature and uh, the traffic and everything. I put the average speed and everything. I put everything in here so you can see this car has the same tires 21 inch 235 in the front 255 in the rear so, um, so as my id7 but just 21 inch instead of 19 inch it is around 12 13 degrees and it's gonna get warm i won't need heat uh, today but maybe ac a bit later we'll see i preheated the battery on the way here and it was then achieved the, the temperature that it needs which is 25 degrees by the way for this battery i noticed from my id7 test and i hope that the battery temperature stays warm um, on the drive so i can later do a charging test and something weird this is the first volkswagen that i see that doesn't have the plastic thing for the dc part it just has this is this new or is this just for the gtx what is this <laughs> i have to ask volkswagen about that on the road driving 133 as you can see of this beautiful head-up display i'm driving 133 you know gps and speedometer is not always the same i'm almost down to 90 percent only drove 25 kilometers but as always uphill consumption is pretty high because of that but uh it's gonna go down yeah my climate is at 19 degrees i'm in comfort mode because eco mode goes only to 130 kilometers an hour uh, i don't think that the heat is doing anything it's 15 degrees out there i have the heat or the temperature in here at 19 degrees um yeah everything is fine uh drive is nice average speed is already at 123 kilometers an hour which is amazing i'm gonna drive in this direction to regensburg on the a3 turn around and then go back and then go in the direction of munich on the a92 and then we go back to the charger and hopefully we have a good result I'm at 75% and I drove 78 kilometers that would mean 312 kilometers of full range I was expecting a bit more almost the same as the ID4 Pro with 340 kilometers but on this stretch usually it is a bit of higher consumption and then it gets better on the way back my consumption right now is 235 watt hours per kilometer and by the way you can see if your climate is heating or not when you go on climate and this here is blue you're not heating up and if it's red the heat is doing something I'm at 
50% and drove 159 kilometers. That would mean 358 kilometers of full range. And more interesting is that at 50% it shows me a range of 201 kilometers. So 40 kilometers more than so it thinks I can drive 40 kilometers more than what I was driving for the first 50%, even though my consumption stayed exactly the same, 235. So for an hour and 60 minutes and drive with the same average consumption, so not the whole time, but most of the time, and it, in the range display still shows me 40 kilometers too much, and that's not, that's not nice, that I don't like. Everything is the same. Soon I'm gonna nav. It's 18 degrees outside. Soon I'm gonna navigate back to the charger till the uh, navigation tells me that I will arrive under 10 percent, and then we turn around. As always, we have to talk about how is it to drive long distance with the Volkswagen ID4 GTX at 130 kilometers an hour. Nice and quiet in here, very comfortable. Steering is amazing. I have self-steering on. It works perfect as in any other Volkswagen ID car with travel assist where it steers itself. The same with cruise control. I have the distance to very low so it doesn't already slow down when I'm a bit farther away. It takes a bit and I like that. The range display, as I said, is not that amazing. It takes a bit to get that it gets to the thing. I already navigated back to the charger. It tells me I will arrive with 11%. That's cool. 94 kilometers ago, 134 kilometers of range. That's 40 kilometers of safety. That's cool. Everything's fine. Battery is still at perfect temperature. Right now I could charge with 140 kilowatt. There will be a charging test because people uh, said there's a rumor that the GTX will have a different charging curve than the old GTX. So with ID software three po up to 3.7. Um, and we'll see if this is true. Yeah, I would love to close the panoramic roof, but I have my camera attached. I can't do it. <laughs> I have to have the sun right here on my head, on my bald spot, so I get uh, sunburn. Consumption is still 235, seems a bit high, but that's it, 126 is my average speed. I will go back, and like I said, everything is nice in here. I don't notice any difference on the long distance from the Pro version to the GTX version. It's just all wheel drive with a bit more power. And there will be a video, of course, with acceleration and how it, if it is any different. There is no snow or anything, so I can uh, check out the traction mode. When you go into drive mode, you have Eco Comfort Sport traction, which I don't, you don't have in the Pro. Um, so I can't test it. <laughs> there will be the next snow is far away. Um, yeah, so we'll see. The consumption for me is a tiny bit high for uh, no heat and it's warm outside. I don't know. I would expect a bit less.
it's holiday season and if you need a charging solution for your trip in your country or all over Europe then you should check out Mangau Autostrom. With Mangau you can charge with the card with the little chip, I love this little uh, tiny little thing, or with the app. And the app has been redesigned, there's now new features, new design, you can see better where there are chargers, you can filter the chargers for what power you want to use, 50 kilowatt, 100 or above 150 kilowatt and you can see if chargers are occupied and what they cost of course. With Mangau you charge with the same price at all DC charging stations and the same price with all AC charging stations. If you want to know more there's a link in the description below. I arrived with 7%, 25 kilometers range left, average consumption 231, drove 305, ah, 305 kilometers, 125 kilometers an hour was my average speed. So if I take the 93% that I used of the battery and Google Maps says I drove 310 kilometers, I get to a full range of 333 kilometers. Uh, and again, I put the data of this drive here on this side and I put the data of the ID4 Pro three weeks ago on this side. So you can compare different temperatures, tire, tires are the same, different average speed and different range at the end and what state of charge I arrived at the end. Very interesting, 333 kilometers and I think it was 340 on the, on the other drive. I think that's okay. I'm filming a charging session right now. Like I said, I want to see if this charging curve is any different and then I'm gonna go home. But I hope this was entertaining and informative for you as always. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram, BatteryLife1 and if you want to support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, you can support the channel via channel membership. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.